internal medicine. And so um, I'll, I'll be brief about this. I like to keep these videos under five minutes. And uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and go over some of the resources. My own personal opinion about the main resource to use uh, is this book right over here. And it's Step Up to Medicine, the fourth edition. This is basically the gold standard to go to for not only your clerkship, but also for your shelf examination studying and for preparation of the USMLE Step 2. And for those of you that don't know, the USMLE Step 2 is very heavily weighted on internal medicine specifically. And so this book, um, it's been proven to be really good and reliable for uh, those purposes as well. What's nice about this book is it has a lot of high yield points that are on the edges over here. You know, there's quick hits. You see those right over there. And, um, you know, they give you like really bold facts that you really need to know and highlight. Also it gives you a nice clinical picture for certain diseases uh, as well as diagnostic procedures and treatment options. And what's nice is it, it also gives you treatment options for um, things like comorbidities with a certain disease. So if you have uh, end-stage renal disease, how would you treat this patient? Or if you have a diabetic patient, how would you treat this patient? Or if you have a patient that also has coronary artery disease, how would you modulate your treatment to consider that as a comorbidity? So this, this is a great book, great resource. Um, I carry this during clerkships, and I'm definitely studying using, uh, using this book for the shelf exam as well as the step two examination. So very highly recommended. I personally recommend it. Uh, the other one is this book. It's a very small book. Uh, it's called Case Files. Very short. Uh, case Files for Internal Medicine. And for those of you that know, uh, Case Files has a series and it's for basically every rotation for psych, for peds, for you know, surgery, everything. And this one in particular has 60 cases and they're very high yield cases, quick facts, key points that you really need to know. And I would personally uh, read through these um, as you see your patients and when you're reviewing for the different exams. This one is kind of um, a resource that I would carry around with me, uh, not only for internal medicine, but for every clerk, uh, clerkship that you have. And that is pocket medicine. Carry this in your white coat. It's basically your quick reference for every disease. And it basically like condenses a lot of the material into this small book. And it gives you, you know, I'll just randomly open up, let's say, infectious disease. You know, for a fungal infection, it'll give you risk factors, clinical man manifestations um, in different areas, uh, like mucocutaneous areas, hepatosplenic hem hematogenous dissemination. And for each disease, it also gives you specific uh, manifestations and specific treatment options. What it doesn't give you sometimes is dosage, but that's easy with a quick uh, app on your phone. So I would highly recommend this not only for internal medicine, but carry this with you in your white coat for every clerkship. Um, personally recommended. And lastly, but not least, is a good question bank. So what question bank do, do I use? And that is um, UWorld. I don't have any qualms about any other QBank, but you know, I find that UWorld worked for me for the step one, and it's working for me for my clerkships. So I personally go uh, through each clerkship, and what I like to do is I, however many questions there are for a certain clerkship, and uh, I divide the number of weeks by how many questions, and you know, I try to hit those uh, that amount of questions every week, and so I would recommend doing that. Um, internal medicine, it's a little more difficult because it's uh, at least for me it's 12 weeks and it's like 1400 questions on uh, UWorld so it's actually not too bad it's maybe like 20 questions a day but sometimes it's a little difficult when you come home and you're a little tired and you're reading the book and you don't want to do questions afterwards so uh, these are the resources and I highly recommend them I hope you found this useful if you have any other suggestions please comment below if you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll catch you guys later. Take care.